Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Will Dinwiddie here. Uh, today's word of the day is success, uh, which means the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. Okay, so success happens after you complete a goal, and to complete a goal requires effort. So success is the is the sum of your efforts, <clears throat> or that's the um, the final product of your effort is is success. So, success comes after much effort, much hard work. This is why it's important that you work hard every day because without hard work, without consistent work, without, without that effort, you can never ach achieve the goal, which means you can never have success. And so, the, the tough part is, is sometimes you don't know how long it's going to take for you to be successful. It might take a lot longer than you expected um, because maybe your progress isn't, isn't going as fast as you would like it due to other circumstances in your life. So it's important to work as hard as you can every day because you never know when you, you never know when your opportunity is, is also going to be presented to you. I want to, I want to backtrack a little bit. The reason why you want to work hard is because that's what it takes to get to your success. Sometimes your, your success is going to happen in a time frame that, that is longer than you expected. And there's a lot of reasons behind that. There's other things that you need to learn on the road to your success. So it doesn't always work out the way you want because the universe says, no, no, they need to learn uh, uh, more technique or they need to learn how to diet better or there's other things that you need to learn on the road to your goal that you may not be putting into practice right now and the only way you're going to get to that final goal is by putting these these things that you maybe maybe have been putting off into practice so this is why it's so important to work hard because the harder you work the more focused you work um, the better you get at doing the right things all the time and not putting it off because procrastination is the number one killer of a dream. Uh, putting it off, waiting till tomorrow, waiting till next month, waiting till next year, the New Year's. You know, anytime, <clears throat> anytime I've ever had a goal, I started doing something at that very moment. Uh, that's how I was able to achieve. When I decided that I wanted to become an arm wrestler, I called up the only people that I knew in, in my town that, that I knew, knew, knew about arm wrestling, I called them up immediately and said, I want to get into arm wrestling. Can you help me? Can you show me how to arm wrestle? And they built me a table and showed me how to arm wrestle. And then that's, and then, you know, a year and a half later, I've accomplished all the stuff that I've accomplished in, in, in the sport. When I wanted to learn how to do strongman, I, it, I, it was, it took me a long time to figure out that I needed to find people with equipment took me five years to figure this out because I thought I could do it on my own. I thought I knew what I didn't know and I thought I knew, just like what Les Brown talks about. I thought I knew what I didn't know that I thought I knew. I, I was wrong, you know, like I, I didn't know what I was doing and I thought I did and what I did was helpful, working out in the gym and just trying to maximize what I, my abilities in the gym. It transferred over a little bit but it didn't transfer over the way I had hoped it would. And so it wasn't until I started training with equipment that I became a champion. And that's why I invested so much into having a gym like this and having the equipment available uh, to teach people how to do this stuff with. So if you want to do any strength sport, I can teach you how because I have all this equipment here. But that was all because of the effort that I put in. I put in so much hard work and I sacrificed so much. And and a lot of people, they'll look at your success and, they'll, and they, won't, they will forget about the sacrifices that you made. That's part of the hard work. That is hard work to sacrifice, to, to spend your money on equipment and not spend it on yourself. You know, you know what I'm saying? Any, any extra money that you have, you, you save for your next competitions uh, or, or you, say, you, you put it toward your goal, okay? So you put it toward what your dream is. And that's a hard sacrifice to make because because uh, you see a lot of your other friends going out and stuff and, and you can't do that because you your money is already saved and being spent in this on your goal so you don't have any to go out with so that's a hard sacrifice to make you know when you're there's all kind of hard sacrifices that you're going to have to make um, on the road to your goal but that is the requirements and if you want your goal bad enough you will do whatever it takes and doing whatever it takes means you will sacrifice whatever you got to sacrifice 
uh, and you will be determined. And all that is hard work. That comes from hard work. So your success is, is built on your values, on, on the, the kind of person that you, that you become, the kind of person that you are. If you're a determined and, and relentless and, and <clears throat> resilient, you are going to come back for more every time you get told no. You're going to be like, no, I don't accept no. You're going to come back and you're going to fight harder for your goal. You're not going to give up. You're not going to take no. This guy says no, whatever. I'm going to go find somebody that will tell me yes. You know, this gym won't allow me to drop weights. I'm going to go find one that does. And I can't find a gym that won't let me drop weights. Fine, I'll build my own. You, you, don't, you don't come up with excuses and reasons why you can't. You come up with reasons why you can. And then the universe gives you ideas. And it's like, why don't you just make your own? Just start investing in your own equipment. And, you, and the... the <laughs> it will show you how to do it. It will, it will get you into contact with people that know how to build the stuff. It will get you into contact with the right kind of clients, uh, the clientele that you're looking for. The universe will send you the, the information. You don't, know how, you don't have to know anybody or know how. I didn't know how to do any of this stuff. And then when I first started four years ago, and then four years later I have a gym with all the specialty equipment, you don't have to know how to do it, any of it. I painted the murals on the wall. I never did nothing like that. You don't have to know how. All you have to do is trust your trust in here that your that your your passion and your desires to do whatever it is that you're that you find the most happiness and joy doing, and the, the and it doesn't require and it feels effortless. When you go to follow your heart and, and you put in the hard work and you put in the determination and you and you, and you keep the faith because that's hard work too, keeping the faith. Keeping going when other people are like this, you know, like are trying to discourage you when other people stop believing in you and you all you have is yourself. You you have to learn how to keep going. Uh, and the, and the best part about it is when you have faith in yourself, which is which is from hard work, believing in yourself as hard work. Um, when you put that effort into yourself, you gain success beyond what the what the final yeah, I wanted to have a gym, but this is way beyond what I ever really believed that I could accomplish. I wanted to be big and strong when I was a kid, but I went way beyond what I ever thought possible for myself. I never thought that I would, I would be this, this good and be this good of a champion when I first started out. I never would have imagined it. Uh, I never would have imagined I'd have such a unique gym. I'd have such a unique mindset to, to build something so unique and so special, you know? Um, I never thought I had those abilities. Even just a few, even five years ago, I didn't, I didn't believe I had the ability. I, I daydreamed about it, but I didn't have the confidence. I didn't think that I could actually do it, you know? And then as, as you do it, as you, as you are accomplishing your goal, the success and the rewards are beyond what you can, what you can imagine because they're so internal. Uh, it, it's such a... It, it, your feeling of self-confidence and self-reliance and, and just your ability to rely on you and know that you know how to get the job done. You don't need nobody. You know how to do it yourself. You can go from nothing into something uh, uh, with just your, just, just your passion and your belief in yourself can take you from nothing into something. And that's all based on hard work. You have to remind yourself how smart you really are. You have to remind yourself that you can do it. You have to remind yourself that you're strong. You're the strongest. You have what it takes, you know, you're, you're not going to give up. You're not a quitter, you know, like you have to tell yourself these things over and over again, all the time, all day long. Yeah, you have to tell yourself things and it's, it's just a daily thing. It's because that's when you're building yourself up and changing yourself into, into, the, into the kind of successful person that you want to be, these things are going to happen on, just by default because to get to the level of success that you want. And if you're thinking big like me, you have to be this type of person and you have to be this hardworking, determined person. And that's all based on effort. So your success is all based on your effort. You put in a great effort and you're going to get a great reward of success in return. Um, anyway, so it kind of went off on, on, on you guys there, but the word of the day is success. Uh, I hope what I told you um, works for you. I hope, I hope it makes sense for you. And as always, don't be average. Be epic, baby.